As you can see, I've become a bit of an amateur zoologist over the years. Fiendishly inventive, in fact. From the eggs came these parasites, shock troops of the genetic assault, waiting for a host, entering the host, and ultimately producing, well, these enviable unions. The challenges for us as a department was um, bringing to life uh, the aliens, the Xenos, the Neos, um, you know, some new ones in there. So that we've got a lot to live up to on this. To be honest, we just went right back to the artwork. It was more about Giga's artwork. So we were really referencing a lot of the original Alien. In this movie, we see the classic Alien evolving. We've got the Neomorph. There's a lot of work in progress Alien creatures as well in the, in the lab. The laboratory of David is all set. All the pieces he picks up are all real. The creatures on the table are all designed and made. I don't want to look like Merlin's cave. I don't want test tubes and shit and boiling water and crap like that. So I thought it was more of a natural, creative evolution. It's all evolving. We're telling stories in the images, going from David's innocent fascination with nature into the darker, morbid obsession. It's in my nature to keep busy, I suppose. I am fiendishly inventive, in fact. I had to wedge in a little bit of alien reference, so I put the original alien egg, I had to draw it, and then put the new one from this film in there. A little bit of uh, Fifield from Prometheus. He gets mutated by the pathogen. Try to do a little bit of David's experimentation on uh, how it responds to engineer flesh. And if you look really closely, you can see the, the teeth, the second mouth, the second xenomorph mouth wedged in the teeth there. I did a lot of profiles of the alien, almost like Victorian profile studies of, of these mutant aliens. 